All right, what's going on, guys? Yo, we down in the RC lab, and um, I got something for you guys. I have um, anybody who's out here running these fifth scales on road. I know my man, um, Rob. You know you out there. Um, uh, both Robs, <laughs> Blue <laughs> Blue Groove Motorsports and Rob. I know uh, Rob from Blue Groove Motorsports. You've already done this, um, and yours look way better than mine. But um, I just I needed a setup board for my on road joint. So nobody makes a fifth scale on road set up board that I can find. Um, so I made my own. This is my setup board, all right? For my uh, on road, this is my MCD XS5. Um, getting dialed in. Actually, this is the first time I actually on it. I want to get it dialed in. I got a couple changes I've done to this thing. Um, but uh, I needed a setup board, something that, you know, I can make level and, uh, you know, just I can actually dial this thing in for my camera, my toe, um, basically the camera. Really, the camera is the is the main reason why I really need this. Um, of course, you can use a tape measure. Each one of these cubes are uh, two foot, two inches um, separation. You can use a tape measure, but I'm using the energy, uh, you know, setup jig. Um it, it has the Baja, this is for the Baja, so it has the Baja um, hubs. And luckily the MCD has Baja hubs, so it worked out perfect. Um, but, like I said, this is this is the set of board. It's made out of a three-quarter MDF. Um, like I said, cubes every two inches, both um, lateral and uh, vertical. Uh, it, it turned out good. Like I said, I even got, let's see if I can lift this thing up for you guys. Pull these Wheel nuts off before I lose them. It even has a level on there so I can get a level. Right? And um, I'm a, this video is basically about how I uh, went about building this. Um, so, like I said, if, you, if you're really serious, like I'm becoming to be very serious with this on-road course racing up there in Wagner Park. Good group of guys. Um, excellent, excellent track. But I get a lot of uh, hits from my man Maher up at Cardinal Racing. I get a lot of hits from Rob at um, Blue Groove Motorsports. I get a lot of hits from Nick. You know, he um, tell me, try this, try that, try this, try this. Well, every time you try something, for instance, like adjusting the front shocks or adjusting the sway bar, anytime you, you do those changes, you need to get it back up on a board, adjust your camber to where, you, where it was riding perfect, wasn't wearing out tires, um, and get back to it. So I had to make this board. Um, it really, really wasn't expensive. I think the board was twenty eight bucks, and then the level that I put in the center, which really isn't needed, but it's a good addition because you can use a regular torpedo level or something like that. But um, the level I put in the center was like fifteen bucks, um, Amazon, and then oh, leveling feet. So I got some leveling feet on here too. And I think these are like 15 bucks for a pack of 20 or something from Amazon. So like I said, I'll put a link to each one of these items in the description. And then, uh, I mean, it only took me like a couple of hours. Um, you know, a router to get that level down there if you want to put that in there. A um, couple of hours of work and shit, less than 50 bucks. You know, I got a set of board. So check the video out. I hope you enjoy it. Um, it... It it does have some things that I left out because I came back in and you know miss you know forgot to record. But enjoy the video, um, and I see you. All right, what's up, guys? Um, we are out here now. I drilled a couple holes in the wood, um, and I'm putting these little uh, these little uh, I guess like little cleats that come with the uh, leveling feet that I got. All right. And uh, like I said, I'll, uh, I'll put a link to uh, all these parts I'm using. But um, it's, it's simple, man. I got a, I already drilled the holes. Let me show you. So I've already drilled the holes two inches in from both both sides. All right. I said, here's the foot. These little uh, leveling feet cleats or whatever you want to call these things. They just fit right over top of here. Make sure you drill the hole tight. You know what I mean? Just fit on top of there. And we'll take it, we'll hammer that on there. All right? This is how it looks. 
came out real good. So, like I said, this should screw right on in there. Slide it on a little bit more. There it is. There it is. All right, so we got the feet on there. I got it turned upside down. Well, turned back right side up. It was upside down, but I got the feet on there. I might actually add some more feet right in the center of this thing so that uh, when it's sitting on something like this, I can still level it. Um, but right now, it's set up for, I guess, a big space. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna put some more, I'm gonna put four more feet right near the center of this thing so I can set it up on top of like, let's say this stand here, this table. And then I can level it off sitting on that table. Cause right now with the, the feet being over the edge of the table, I wouldn't be able to level it. So, you know, it's a, it's a learning thing. I'm gonna try something different. So here's the router, my little rigid router. Um, this is the uh, bubble that I'm gonna inlay right there, right? I set my router so that it goes just above it. It gave me a little bit of space to put a little bit of glue down inside the recess, All right? Then you can see how far this thing goes down. So I still got plenty of meat in there. Now, don't ask me why I didn't just use a bigger, a bigger bit. <laughs> I should have used a bigger bit so I can get in around that joint. I like that joint raised up too, so. I should have used a bigger bit. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna change the bit out, put a bigger bit in there. So I clean that out. There we go. It fits perfect. I just gotta line up these numbers. I'll put a little bit of glue in there to hold that in there. Drop it in and see how flush it is. There it is. And I'll add just enough glue so I can, you know, make it smooth and flat. And then we're done. Make, make sure these lines line up horizontal and uh, I guess left and right and up and down, horizontal and vertical, I guess. <laughs> and then we're done. Get some, uh, I got some, um, some uh, what is it, Gorilla Glue that I'm going to use for this. All right, so we got some uh, Gorilla Glue here. Got a little piece of wood that I'm gonna put over top of it once I put the glue and the, um, the dial in the hole to hold it down flush. Just in case, cause I know this stuff, if I remember right, this stuff kind of foams up a little bit. So what you gotta do is dampen a little bit of the wood, dampen a little bit of the uh, dial, put the glue in, and like I said, I'm just gonna put a little bit in there just enough where it keeps it up flush, and we should be good, man. All right, so we got it in there. We got some painter tape on there to protect the face and also to keep it um, in line because uh, it was trying to go back and forth a little bit, floating on the glue. Um, I'm gonna take this piece of wood, slide over top of it, set it down. Got a clamp down with a long piece of clamp. I have a piece of wood underneath of it so I don't damage the MDF. And um, I'm gonna let that sit, sit overnight. They said one to two hours, it'll be, um, set but they said um full cure is 24 hours so let's see what it looks like in the morning all right guys all right guys so <laughs> i got it i totally forgot to record this right but um man i was upstairs and probably about i don't know a couple hours went by and um i was like you know what i need to go check that because i was worried about the suspending foam and even with the clamp on it it still pushed this board up just enough where this foam got everywhere, dude. <laughs> it was foam everywhere. Um, it it took some cleaning up to do. Um, it looks good now, but I had to uh, scrape a lot of foam that had had gotten up above and around the actual actual dial. Um, I had foam all over out here. You can kind of see how dark it is in certain spots. So that's where the foam was. Um, but it pushed it up just, just, I mean, just an even amount all the way around. So what I had to do was I had a scraper. 
you know what I mean? Had the scraper. I took and I just just hit it, you know, ever so lightly all around until uh, I got it all off. And I hit it with some goof off, some extra strength, uh, industrial strength goof off, and cleaned up around the dial. So I got that pretty clean. Um, but it's it it is it's raised up just ever so slightly, like maybe a millimeter or so above the foam, just pushed it straight up. But um, after cleaning it off and everything, it turned out real well. So I got the dial here. So as you can see, right, I got it sitting on my. Uh, my, my daughter's, she painted me up my nice keyboard stand. Um, I actually have some leveling feet on the keyboard stand also. So this is a little leveling setup that I can use to get my board even. It's still using the mouse. See? Trend. Artist of the year. Doing my thing for me. I know y'all want one. If you want one, hit me up. And uh, you send me your keyboard. I'll get her to you know, paint your joint up. Now, what I'm going to do is um, I measured out. I found the center. It was right about here, I guess it was. Then I went two inches each way. All the way around this thing. Found the center. On this side, I went two inches each way. And then I'm going to take. And uh, I got my straight edge, my level. And I'm going to connect the dots. All the way across and uh, all the way this way. And um, we'll really see how this is off a little bit. <laughs> marked up um this is so you can really see your angles and you see what differences you make um you know even though i i got all the angles and everything on my setup a little setup jig from energy but this right here you'll really be able to see it shout out to mike motor mike for uh telling me about this because i didn't even think about this but this is perfect <laughs> but you can also see how i'm off just a hair <laughs> with the uh the dials it was all good like i said once i get it leveled you know what i mean then all that matters i get it right in the middle of that bubble then i'll set it up and uh we'll get this thing looking perfect all right so i'm ready to get that off the floor get that up here and then uh you're gonna see what's up so let me get my energy set up pieces like chess pieces all set up ready to go and uh, we're good to go. So, Wagner Park, look out, bruh. We got one more race coming up. And I want to get that dialed in. So, I'll catch you guys later. Out.